Alright guys, uh, I was going to show you guys a video here of my 2016 Ram 3500 cabin chassis with the Cummins 67 diesel with the Eisen automatic transmission. Uh, I was going to run a, show you guys, a, do a fuel economy uh, video. I haven't seen too many out there with a, with a tow, with people, somebody towing. Uh, what I've got here is a gooseneck, 14 foot gooseneck trailer behind me. Uh, we're, pull, we're pulling about close to 10,000 pounds, 11,000 pounds with this trailer right now. And uh, we're on pretty level ground here. I'm running about, I'm running 65. I got my cruise set on 65 miles an hour. And I've been averaging about 11.2 miles per gallon with this thing. I've been pulling it for about 50 miles now. Um, this truck is uh, completely stock. It's got, uh, let me see how many miles it's got. We got 12,400 miles on this truck. And, and it's completely stock or factory tires on it. Um, it's got a uh, 373 rear end in it. So, um, it, it doesn't, I don't have the 410s, but, um, <clears throat> We're getting averaging about 11, 11.2 miles per gallon out of this thing, towing about 10,000 pounds behind me on a gooseneck trailer, 14 foot gooseneck. Um, I had a 2013 cabin chassis that was two wheel drive. This one's four wheel drive. I traded it in here about two months ago for a four wheel drive. But my four wheel drive, or excuse me, my two wheel drive truck. Uh, it got about only about a mile per gallon more than this truck did. I was averaging about 12, 12 and a half with that truck. And I even did the dang um, uh, DPF delete on that truck. And doing a, doing a DPF delete on these new trucks, with the, with the if they have a def system on them, diesel exhaust fluid, you don't really gain any kind of miles per gallon at all out of the, uh, by doing the delete. The only, the only positive I've found out of that was the throttle response i mean you can you could punch the you could you could put your foot in the gas on that uh deleted truck and that thing would go i mean i was only running a 100 horse tune on it but yeah the throttle response was there it got rid of all that lag like you got in your you know your the all stock truck how it kind of lags throttle response is kind of slow but really as far as fuel economy you're not going to really gain any kind of fuel economy by doing a delete I mean, I only gained maybe a half a mile per gallon, if that. It was so little, I couldn't really even tell. Um, but anyways, I figured I would just do a quick little video showing the miles per gallon, real world deal. I ain't trying to say I'm getting 20 miles per gallon out of this truck. But uh, I've got a 2016 three-quarter ton now with the uh, 4x4 with 342, or the, the, yeah, the 342 rear end in it. And that truck... If I'm driving that truck um, empty, running 75 miles an hour, I average about 21 miles per gallon out of that truck. And it's completely stock also. And it's got about 10,000 miles on it. Um, it picked up about, I'd say probably two miles per gallon after I broke around, you know, around that, I got over about 7,000 miles on the truck. It got broke in and I guess it got a little better fuel economy, but yeah. That truck with a 342, three quarter ton, single wheel uh, diesel running 75 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour average, you're going, I'm getting about 21 miles per gallon out of that truck. But I guess with this, with this truck, this cabin chassis being uh, dual, re dual rear wheels, and it just uh, kills the fuel economy, even when I'm not. Even when I ain't towing a, a trailer behind this thing, I'm only getting about 15 on it with a tailwind behind me. So, anyways, that was just, I just wanted to do a little quick video. Uh, I was bored driving down the road here. I figured I'd do something to pass the time anyways. But, uh, thanks guys. Y'all have a good one.